This morning. I thought that I deserved it. The little ranger brought this well in. Did you find out what happened during last night's storm? Oh, it was two fishermen, an old man and a boy. Their boat must have blown off course just south of Dreamare. They didn't stand a chance. Have the bodies been found? We've well, searched everywhere. Still two men out looking, but yeah, I wouldn't hold out much hope. The currents there run deep. The old man was an experienced fisherman, though. Why did he take the boy with him? He should have seen the signs. He should have known a storm was coming. It's like that merchant ship that ran aground the week before last. It's fortunate that no one was killed, that the crew made it to shore. I saw that the laird stationed one of his men on board. I saw him on my way to the beach earlier. He nearly lost his footing and fell into the sea. Oh, well. No great loss, ain't it? The poor man was probably tired after being on watch all night. Tired and intoxicated. I've no time for the reprobates the laird has to do his bidding these days. You're such a misery. Look, your sour face is starting to turn your supper. What are you doing? Lighting a fire. You need to keep yourself warm. But when you're turning blue and keeling over. Careful, you'll burn your fingers. What's your name? Where are you from? There was a battle. And there was a storm. I don't remember much more than that. There's been lots of fighting. Young men sent to the mainland who never made it back. Wives and mothers who still wait and hope. I expect most will be bitter and disappointed. Still, our lives carry on. That wind needs bathed. Perhaps I should see a doctor. Give me some herbs and some potions. I can get my memory back. You'll not find a doctor here. 
I'm not a proper doctor anyway. So you'll have to make deal with me. Let me see it. It's very good. Are you going to sell it to Castle Market on Friday? No, nope. it's a present for my favourite daughter. I'm your only daughter. He needs a name. Cavallo. That's a nice name for a horse. A foreign name. Italian. Like a young pretender himself. What's wrong with a good Scots name? Duncan, for instance. <laughs> Go inside, fetch me some tobacco. I met a young man at the beach today. He was all washed up, like a piece of old driftwood. One of the fishermen? No, he didn't look like a fisherman. I tried to ask him who he was, but he had no memory. He talked about a battle. A Jacobite? I heard there were, there were a couple of subaldans fled the field of Culloden. They got as far as I will. Before Cumberland's men tracked them down. But to the Jacobites, they not stay long. Cumberland's men can be. Well, Cumberland's men are very nasty. Could there be a price on his head? It's of no interest to us. I suppose we should tell the layers. No, father. Fair enough. I have no problem with the men that fought with Charles Edward Stewart. Besides, the layer down's enough blood money as it is. We'll just keep this. Logan. You came back. I, I'm sorry, but yesterday I, I was confused. Probably that blow to the head. Looks as though you're improving. Where did you sleep last night? I got about as far as the village, but well, I decided against going any further. I didn't get much sleep. My name is McKellen. Do you have a first name, or is McKellen your first name? It's just McKellen. I'm Ilsa. Ilsa Lockhart. I live with my father near the bay. I passed by your cottage. It looks like a, a very comfortable place to live. My father doesn't like strangers. Now that I think of it, he doesn't like most people. He sounds like a cantankerous old goat. He's a good man. He just likes to keep himself to himself. You're coming for me, Ilsa. I don't know what they're going to do if they find me. Please, can I trust you? I don't even know you. You wanted shelter and it's dry. Nobody ever comes here. You'll be safe. Not afraid of a few ancient spirits, are you? Besides, the mortal remains and no doubt the spirits are long since gone. Really, what would stay in such a place? Set yourself down. Have a rest. You look half starved. I suppose I should go and get you something to eat. 
Well, you can't leave. I have to leave if you want to fill that belly. excuse for a carcass. Ah, the meanest star. It's you, you know, often you're seen in a bothy like this, eh? No. <sighs> but the laird requires your presence up at the castle. <laughs> the laird, is it? <laughs> With the utmost of respect. The laird can kiss my hope. <sighs> you always were a disrespectful, miserable wee bottle, didn't you? <sighs> did have your ways of persuasion, didn't you? Titans can do someone up here. This way, gentlemen. We will see you soon. That guy is a charmer, isn't he? Merely a man who knows his place. Something well worth remembering when you work for his leadership. Johnny here was a pleasant one. Good breath. I hope the day goes well with you, sir. How's your flock? Tolerable. Your leadership, tolerable. No more than that. Too far with my legs. Allow me to introduce... Ah, uh, you must be the infamous Clutia McKillop. Ah, that's what they call me. Your reputation precedes you, sir. I would very much like to utilise your unique talents. Are you aware of my particular responsibilities? I would say so. Well, it's one of singular importance. There's an interloper on the island, sir. An interloper who must be tracked down if our covenant is to survive. You want me to catch you? A Kelpie. Kelpie. Such a derogatory term. The come hail of an ancient and noble race, sir. And deserve our utmost respect. I picked up a scent earlier as we passed through the village. The unmistakable odour of... Stone mixed with seaweed. Good. He suspected something was amiss. Yeah. And the sea's already attempted to reclaim its own. I don't know if you're aware that the other night a fisherman and his son were drowned. Oh. Anyway, it's business. Gabriel, he'll give you a purse. You will receive the same again if you carry your task to success. Do you agree? 
I agree. Let's drink it. You're not joining us. I'd rather not. Local beverage place made it have it with my digestive tract. To success. Aye. <coughs> well, I wish you both the best of luck. Good evening, gentlemen. No one can find me. Go back in the news. Of course. Did everything go as planned, sir? Yes, I think so. Oh, time will tell. Damn it, kill up some impotent bogle. It was useful useful to have him flogged. Oh well, we are have brave keeping him in line. Oh, never get used to this damned countenance. I must go. I can't stay here anymore. Where will you go? I don't know, but all I know is if I stay too long in the one place, they'll find me. How will they find you? They have their ways. You're a strange one, McKellen. An odd mix of the familiar and restlessness. You appear young, but your eyes say different. You're certainly no Jacobite. I'll give you that. I've been here before. A long time ago. I've seen proud civilizations rise fall. I've been to many places. I've seen creatures that you can only imagine in the inner depths of your mind. I'm tired of this. I don't want to run anymore. Bloody! Bloody! McKellar! Time's wasted! Ah, sorry! Keep your voice down. First things first. Jesus Christ. By the Kelpias. I'm not sure if my senses are being confused by the water or the... You're an animal, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I am you that. <laughs> I was fortunate being born with these powers. My brother once told me I was a born under an ill moon. Very likely it's just jealous of my mother's extra affection. <laughs> been this way for sure, I can tell you that recently as well. <laughs> I can't tell if it's a filly or a coat. Your lordship, your visitors have arrived. Progress, ready. 
Joshua, man. What's this? This is the one you're looking for. Is this some sort of jest? This girl is familiar to me! I've seen her sell her trinkets in the marketplace! You know, come here, and that's a fact. I don't like feeling like a breath. I, I, I don't understand it. I was sure it was her. Then perhaps she has come into contact with the Kumail. Is there something you're not telling us, girl? I wish I knew what you were talking about. She's telling the truth. You expect of Craig Tanner? I thought you did! Not quite, no. For thousands of years, before you were born, this land was ruled by a warring race. Years they waged a bloody long conflict. Then the two warring factions decided on settlement. And we, the Pict and I, would live on lands while the Combe Hill would form their province in the deep. Now a rogue Combe Hill has left the sea, causing an imbalance between the land and the sea. Already the sea has attempted to rectify the situation. And it is my ancient duty to ensure that the balance is restored. <laughs> her traditional tests. Her blood runs thick in her veins. Not one of us. There is another possibility. She could be a half-breed. No. Mongrel! Procreation between the races is strictly forbidden. It is forbidden, but it is also possible. Then it is also possible that she may be a viable substitute. Will the sea accept her in the form she's in? If we do not find the come hell, it may be our only hope. Oh, such decisions weigh heavy on my shoulders. I would gladly throw myself at the mercy of the sea if I could restore order. Alas, your place is here among my brethren on this miserable rock. Take it to the cliff, I will join you when I'm done here.
It's not an unpleasant way to die, not as I remember it. The sea was restless again last night. We can't wait much longer. will continue to the top. You're late. The climb took longer than I expected. We must begin. We are gathered here on this sacred site, a place of ancient and unholy battle. We are land we see, and sea meets land, to return one of your own to the waters below. The Covenant decrees that I, Zavata, bind our two noble races together. To our good and hell, brothers, we return your daughter with our sincerity and blessings for your aquatic domain. Augers and trows! I sense another. Very close to here. The grill. No, the blood is warmer. Another one of us. your manservant not to let anyone through. He's gone. Either back to the castle, falling off the ledge. Whatever way you look at it, he's not here. You're a pigpenny, Wycott. No, not like you. I am an honest man who's trying to live a good life. You just use your power for your own personal wealth. <laughs> Look at you, Laird. <laughs> you are supposed to uphold our covenant. Father! My daughter is something unique. A combination of victory and come hill blood inside her. My mother was a sea dweller. She used to visit me during high winds and storms. It was during one particularly violent storm when you were born. <laughs> After a while, her visits became less frequent. Soon they stopped. I have always tried to protect you, fearful that one day you would leave me forever, like your mother did before you. You see, my daughter is unique, and I won't let anything harm her. 
The ceremony must continue. He who bears the staff has the power. Your wife and your daughter are now forfeit. You're not fit to hold our ancient staff of office! I commit myself to your whiting domain. Me by the shore. I am the arbiter. It is my duty to watch over this land and make sure the balance is retained. For thousands of years we have lived in peace, and as sure as the sea meets the shore, we shall live here for a thousand more.